Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to our channel Deb Snell's 48th World featuring the family affair. Hey, got another story to talk about. Y'all know those two. The reunion as well as season 12 is over with but honey baby. <laughs> they still talking about one another in them streets okay. And them streets I'm referring to as the social media streets alright. Can you still call a nini a snake? And Nene is just not wanting to mention Kenya as at all. <laughs> like totally paying her dust. Okay. But sometimes I ponder a lot about what it would be like if we didn't have Nene on the show. And we didn't have Kenya on the show. Would it actually be a show? And I have to come up with, hell no, nah, it wouldn't be no show because it ain't nobody left to cover it. To make sure it goes from the beginning to the end. You know what I'm saying? There would be nobody to give us any kikis, any laughs, any, no ha-has, no, you know, get the hell out of my screen type attitudes. You know, none of that. Because who are we talking about? Candy? If she ain't giving us tea on Mama Joyce or Mama Joyce ain't showing out on Todd behind, there is no candy, there is no storyline. Cynthia, we're going to move on. Eva, unless she having babies and anybody really want to get into all of that, no, nothing there. Who else we got? Um, damn, we ain't got nobody else, do we? We take Nene out to pick Marlo. Well, we would want her to still be Monty or whatever, but she wouldn't be able to give us nothing either. So, see, we need Kenya and Nene. They're their yin and yang. They're our yin and yang. They're the tomato sauce for the spaghetti. Okay, to run over the noodles and the little meat or if you're a vegetarian, whatever you put in your vegetarian spaghetti okay but let's get on to this quick story that showbiz sheet sheet brought out for us to partake of i thought it was interesting i thought i wanted to share with my youtube family so here we go won't we talk about it yes no maybe okay i think we should all right and hello to everyone who's been out there in those comments a few i had to get together and throw them away totally throw them away uh and some I'm glad you're back in the chat, chatting it up. And I got to make another shout out video soon, okay? But I've been noticing, I've been reading, I've been patrolling the lands, okay? But anyway, we're going to get into the story. It was written by Armando Tenico. He's over there being a correspondent or a journalist for Showbiz Cheat Sheet. His article was uh, titled Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kenya Moore Slams, Nene leaks and calls her a snake okay okay a snake by any other name still becomes a snake right ain't that the pot calling the kettle black these two women are just the same just one of miss kenya she's twirl and nene leaks she's the queen hbic her self-appointed title of course but we're going on that's just my sidebar we're going into the article it says kenya moore from the real housewives of atlanta continues to feud with nene leaks the two peaches have been at odds with one another throughout season 12 and things don't seem to be getting better following the reunion leaks sent a text to her fellow castmates which only solidified what moore had already thought of her now i'm like nene you in these damn texts you in these phone calls can you just stand in now and, and, and fuss with Kenya for the duration of the show or, or how long you going to be on the um this uh platform? Nene? Just don't, don't go hiding from her. Just, you know, stand in your shit and, and talk. Let her talk. You argue. She argue. We like it. It's good banter. Okay. But you running off the show, you know, dropping down your laptop. Then you want to call Portia and talk through Portia to get to Andy. To make a case. And that, that wasn't even necessary. That wasn't even grown folk shit. Okay. That was totally fake. Fool with fuckery fraudulent shitty activity going on in there. I know I got to call a spade a spade. And you just disappointed me. Uh, at the reunions. At least part two and three. Okay. One you was kind of rolling with it. But like you lost steam too. 
uh, reunion part two and then three, you just phased all the way out. You just fell out. Okay. No lifeline there. But going back to the article, that was just my sidebar. It is a question displayed for us. Why is Kenya Moore shading Nene Leakes? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Let's read a little more. One of the storylines for season 12 was labeled Snake Gate by fans. This involved Leakes as well as Yvonne Monoplacier at the reunion. The latter said she was advised by Leakes to record their co-stars to expose them later. Now, my sidebar, uh, Yvonne, we as grown people don't take too kindly as people coming up recording us. We already got the government doing that through our cell phones, through the TVs, and other electronic devices, okay? We already got them on our asses from sun up to sundown. We don't need you going around now acting like some CIA or some government agent <laughs> recording people conversations. And y'all, the conversations are not that, you know, interesting enough to even try to record, okay? We know y'all talk about each other. We know y'all ain't friends off this camera, off this uh, show. When y'all go back to y'all real lives, because y'all just giving us just totally fake, foolery, fuckery, fraudulently, shitty activity of a reality show, okay? We know y'all are giving more scripted stuff than it is real life, and we're here for it, okay? And we have to decipher those who can discern when what's real and what's fake. You hear what I'm saying? But anyway, going back to the article, it says the Glee alum didn't have much of a relationship with her fellow housewives when the season started. One of her major breakups was with Cynthia Bailey, who allegedly said horrible things about leaks. The latter claimed she had a recording for proof. I'm like, all's fair in love and war. If you ain't talking to somebody, and you probably more so hurt than anything else, you gonna you, you gonna act the ass. You gonna talk about them like it ain't nobody's business, okay? Especially when you're in these reality shows, and you know you want to act like you ain't really hurt, but you hurt, and you know you say awful things because they said awful things, and y'all just go tit for tat, you know. So that's pretty much what it, where it was and where it stood with Nene Leakes and um, Cynthia Bailey. Okay, and then Cynthia Bailey got a little extra uh, chip on her shoulder because she's tied up with the man now. And since so she's going to be spending more of her time with Mike, okay, microphone Mike over there, she don't really have time to sit up and be up Nene's ass, okay? That's just the way I see it. I don't know what my family feels about this. Y'all get down in the comments. Y'all let me know, fam, what y'all feel about that. But anyway, it was then revealed, going back to the article, that Mona Placier was the snake in the group who had secretly recorded Bailey. Ultimately, Mona Placier said she lied about the audio and she had nothing, meaning nothing, on Cynthia Bailey for Nene Leakes, okay? After Mana Plasua put the blame on leaks, the latter sent her text exchange with her co-stars. According to Moore, the receipts only furthered the idea she thought leaks was behind all the drama. It was just a fake sauce narrative to make it seem as though her hands were clean and snake gate more said. Hollywood life, and in fact they were covered with scales because she's in fact a snake. I'm like, <laughs> a snake calling a snake snake by any other name is still a snake. So, Kenya and Nene, we'll put both of y'all in the snake category, okay? Because y'all both have done some dirtily deeds that y'all both should be ashamed of. But it just is what it is, is it not? This is reality TV. They give us this mess, all right? Going back to the article, it says Leaks had denied being involved and claimed she was lied to by Mona Placier, all right? Another uh, question is given to us, and it is displayed in this man's article, Does Nene Leakes want Kenya Moore off the show? Well, let's see. With, the, a t oh, <coughs> With all the animosity between Leakes and Moore, many fans would think that the former would like to have the latter fired. However, viewers are surprised to know that the Fashion Police alum actually thinks Moore is great for the show. I was just want to say, because even Andy had brought that out in a lot of seasons, but he did bring it out uh, this current season that 
we're now in the past season 12 that you know she did say good things about more and more more really brought more to the show than anybody else um on the cast besides herself and yeah she's good for tv at least um this Re real housewives of Atlanta show Going back to the article, it says, whether I like her or not, she's controversial. She's the craziest person I know. That girl ain't got no sense, Lee said on The Breakfast Club via reality blurb. But she's perfect for the show. She'll do things and say things that nobody else would do or say. She needs to be here. For Leaks to recognize that Moore is an integrative part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta is incredible big of her. The OG of Atlanta doesn't cave in easily, especially not about her adversaries. Even though Leaks might know Moore's worth on the reality series, a reconciliation between the two is not close. <laughs> I'm like, it ain't gonna ever be close because they making money, her and Kenya, on this show. And you don't need a degree or any other special education. You just got to show your ass. And I mean literally. Either show your ass or show your assy personality. That's going to be trashy. Okay. That was my sidebar. Going back to the article. It said I don't see us ever resolving anything. Listen. When you're on a show like this. There are several different personalities. There are six girls. Everyone needs to play their position. And ride in their lane. Leaks explain. The problem is. People want to cross over in your lane. This is my lane. You can't get over here. Stay over there. Be good at what you're good at. Don't worry about what I'm doing over here. Furthermore. Leaks tune. Changes when asked about Monoplus's future on the show. I feel sorry for her, she told E.T. She will never be a castmate over here. And that's so sad because she has been used and abused. Bye, girl. Now, my sideburn, Nene. Who used and abused her other than yourself? So, are you talking about you used and abused her, Nene? Come on with the comeback now, baby. You're speaking truth here. Expose it all, including your part in it. We're going back to the article. It says uh, she should feel very used. I can't imagine Bravo hiring her to do anything. If so, they drop down 10 levels. So you're trying to say you let your show drop down 10 levels, Nene? Girl. Girl. Girl by Nene. You're talking full of crap at this moment. But y'all, that's all I had. What y'all think? Do y'all agree with Nene in saying that Kenya? Will continue to be her nemesis. They would keep on having their feuds because it's good reality TV. You know, I can I cannot disagree with her on that point. Do I see them being friends one day? Sure. If they if one of them ever left the show, probably. But we're so used to them and their negative banner towards each other. We can't see them any in any other light towards each other. Because like I said, if they became friends. What would this be? Like the show called Friends? Or the show called Living Single? Without the men included? What would it be? We wouldn't want to watch no stuff like that. So yeah. Even if they wanted to try to get together and become allies. It wouldn't last. Because they both like the limelight. They want to get paid more than the other one. They, you know, so I always want to be one top dog. Uh, on the show the one that everybody comes to see and at this point they're sharing that title to me you know what i'm saying um could we see one without the other being on the show yes we could very well but would it be enticing would it be you know enthralled with a lot of drama and a lot of kikis and ha-has and like now nah, y'all know y'all shouldn't say that or oh you shouldn't say that you shouldn't say that oh i don't like her oh i don't like her now you know it wouldn't be none of that going on so they make good chemistry together in the war zone i like to call it other real housewives of atlanta would love to see kenya Moore come back but i already know she don't solidify herself because she acted a total ass for season 12 and there was some good ass kissing too uh, playing up to all her castmates until she got ready to run Cynthia down in the ground like it was nobody's business. Then she had to test the waters with Candy Burris to see how far she could push her. Because she's gunning for Candy. Uh, because she's made little allegations in the past. Uh, insinuated stuff about why is Candy working so hard. Why she has this, she has that. She shouldn't be working as hard anymore. She should be with her family. So that may be something we need to bring out as spectators of the show. 
that Kenya addressed that issue with Kenya come season 13. But, hey, I don't know if Phaedra Paul is coming back, y'all, because I seen her. She's supposed to be doing something on marriage boot camp. And I don't think they could be taping at the same time, but it might be a scheduling conflict. But I was really wanting her to come back. But, honey, if they bring Ivana in as a full-time peach holder over Phaedra Paul's, I don't know. We might need to protest Bravo. Because <laughs> ever then, they done lost their damn mind. All right. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all get down in them comments if you care to. Make your comments known about subject matter. Not necessarily me, you know. But if you have to come for me, you know, I'm, it depends on how I feel that day. I might come back for you. Or I might let you live in your comment and just delete you later on. I, I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. And right now, I'm not really letting nobody get to me, you know. I'm just that type of person, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes I may feel like throwing salt, throwing tomatoes in the street with the peasants. And sometimes I don't. I just go, I, you know, I'm like, okay, you feel that way? Okay, boo. Go somewhere now. Toodle thong. Toodle, toodle, toodle. You know, walk on long now. You don't spend too much time on the porch because you weren't getting in the house, of course. But that's all I got. Y'all enjoy y'all sales. Enjoy this video. And I will see y'all in the next video. But don't forget to continue to subscribe. Okay? And if your notifications have been popping off for some reason, which I think they have been doing, uh, continue to resubscribe to the channel if you care to. My loves, my gifts, my family members. Can you do that for me? If you see you're not subscribed to me and you know you should be subscribed to me, please go back, recertify yourselves, and subscribe to our channel, okay? And let's keep dialoguing for the future, all right? But peace and blessings to you all, and I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye. Mm,